Hello everyone, welcome to Madly. In this video, we are going to learn how the bias affects on the perceptron. Uh, basically, we are going to learn what is the bias concept in any neural network. And I am taking here example of the perceptron so that you can understand in it in a better manner. So let's start uh, with our bias perceptron. So we know that the perceptron has basically three things input summation and the activation function but after uh, we are taking the bias uh, it adds some bias weights to the summation function that is right here and it is going to pass it to the means uh, activation function we know that after increasing weights it is directly impact to the perceptrons activation functions means suppose uh, we keep weights high then it will also uh, increase the stiffness of the activation function but bias is used uh, to delay the triggering of the activation function not to increase the stiffness of the activation functions uh, means uh, take one example that inputs are uh, either you are going to come for the movie or not that is one or zero uh, and we put weights as uh, something like uh, means uh, if you have an umbrella then uh, it is 0 0.1 if uh, if there is a rain uh, then it is uh, 1 like that means we put the weights in that manner and after calculating the summation value without bias we are going to trigger it at the some point suppose the triggering point is 1 means we keep a threshold as 1 and suppose if the summation is less than threshold then we are going to the movie or uh, if threshold is greater than one then we are not going to the movie like that it's just a random example and what happen if we introduce a bias so bias helps in controlling the value of which activation function is going to trigger means suppose uh, if you want to trigger the activation function at the five then we are not going to push weights that too much uh, further means uh, suppose the current weight is uh, w1 is one and uh, now the activation function is uh, something 2 and we want activation function for the threshold as a 5 then we are not going to increase these weights uh, like uh, 3 or something like that we are going to introduce a bias means for all summation function we are going to plus 3 that is we just add some bias random value actually it's not a random it's uh, means decided or fixed or the calculated value so that our perceptron model is very accurate so in this way we are introducing a bias to control the value of the activation function at which it is going to trigger so let's see it with the help of the graph so here you can see that uh, we are not introducing here bias so now the line is always passing through the uh, means origin uh, why it is passing through the origin because we just have one input that is x and one weight so the equation will be like this uh, means here the equation is y is equal to mx so line is always passing through the origin uh, irrespective of its slope but what f1 if we introduce the bias and what is the reason of the bias suppose we have just one input just like this and one weight but we want the line like this means uh, in this manner which is not passing through the origin or uh, suppose like this which is not passing through the origin means uh, if the result is here means uh, less than the threshold then we are going to reject that uh, means uh, reject that decision means uh, we are not going to the movie suppose that and means all these are rejections because it is less than the threshold and suppose it is here like this means more than the lines weight then we are going to accept that result that is we are going to the movie so how we are going to achieve it so for that we need a bias and you know that the if line is passing through the origin and if we add some constant value plus c here then automatically line goes means it is not going to pass through the origin you can see that uh, here means we are taking the two inputs and also we are introducing uh, some random bias that is a constant value c and after introducing that c means uh, uh, 
we get the equation as y is equal to mx plus c so now we are able to achieve the line however we want you can see this line or this line uh, the means direction of the line is dependent on the slope of the line that is the y which ultimately means the weight of the line and how it is means how much distance it away from the uh, origin is depend on the uh, bias that is the constant value of that line now the line have a uh, its full freedom to train itself and find a model that fits the best for the given data just like i told you earlier now we have a model like this one and uh, we have something uh, means inputs uh, like this are okay like this and now model is perfectly fit to distribute it uh, in category means this is the one category and this is another category because of this line uh, and if we don't introduce means uh, the bias to weight then uh, the line always pass maximum like this from the origin uh, I will just change the color so that it if we don't introduce the bias then line will maximally pass like this but suppose if there is a weight here actual output must be according to this line is means uh, it is the rejection but because we don't have the bias for this line means this sky blue line uh, it is going to means accept that decision but we don't want such decisions because it is actually the uh, error mm, and it comes under means uh, false positive or false negative in that terms we are going to see that terms in the further videos uh, when we build some means high level models uh, so bias is a constant which helps the model in a way that it can fit a best for the given data and in other word bias is a constant which gives freedom to perform the model at its best so now let's see one example so we already see the AND gate perceptron that is uh, the upper one which is without the bias function uh, you know that, that means uh, now for this video purpose uh, we are going to take w0 as 1 w minus 2 uh, if you don't watch the and get perceptron video then uh, you can check that video where we are uh, going to build this perceptron step by step in python as well as uh, i have explained with the with this uh, examples with, with this uh, help of with this diagram so now let's coming back to the bias to and get perceptron so before going to bias to and get perceptron just uh, take a look here means upper perceptron uh, just go as i'm going to told don't rush and see all the content uh, if you understand means just by watching then you can stop video here or if you want to continue my explanation then you can continue it so for and get perceptron w0 is 1 and w1 is 2 suppose the first weight is 0 0 then the summation value becomes 0 and uh, activation function uh, let's suppose uh, trigger at um, so actually it's a summation value and the uh, activation functions value uh, suppose we have threshold like uh, um, we can keep threshold as 3 here okay so threshold is now 3 so the summation value for uh, 0 0 input is 0 0 0 input is 0 which is less than the threshold so output will automatically be 0 which is the correct one suppose now the uh, inputs are 0 and 1 here so the now summation value is going to uh, sorry the uh, 0 1 now the summation value is 2 I write it wrong here it must be like this okay now the summation value means 0 into 1 is 0 1 into 2 is 2 so summation value is now 2 and the activation uh, threshold is 3 so again it is less than 3 means threshold value so it is again 0 which is the current uh, means actual output now the uh, inputs are 1 0 so here we need 1 and here it is 0 
so 1 into 1 1 and 0 into 2 2 means the summation value is 1 here you can see that summation value is 1 which is again less than the threshold value so again we get output at 0 and uh, what for what happened for the means inputs 1 1 the summation value become 1 into 1 1 plus 1 into 2 3 means now the summation value is 3 which is greater than or equal to 3 means our threshold so now the output becomes 1 so in this manner our regular and get perceptron works but we want to trigger these functions means trigger the and gate uh, suppose we uh, we have the voltage of 5 volt only and we want to trigger at 5 volt not at the 3 volt so we need to set the threshold for the 5 so the one way is we can increase the weights but increasing weight is not a good approach for the perceptron so we introduce the bias now you can see that here means 0 0 0 means the for the 0 0 input and get output is 0 so you uh, you know 0 0 summation value obviously becomes 0 and uh, because of the it's the summation value you must remember this and it's the activation functions input value and this is the predicted output okay now the summation is 0 plus 2 bias so activation value is going to 2 and our threshold value is 5 so now the summation plus bias value is less than the threshold value so output is going to be 0 now for the 0 1 input 1 into 2 is equal to 2 so the summation is 2 plus bias value is 2 so 2 plus 2 is 4 which is less than the threshold value so uh, give me a second okay so 2 plus 2 is 4 which is less than the threshold value so again the output is 0 now for the input 1 and 0 1 into 1 1 means here the act summation value must be 1 here it is 1 uh, actually I write here uh, means summation plus bias so that the confusion occurs but let's go with our flow not uh, as per I write it previously so now the summation value is 1 plus uh, 2 is the bias value so it is now becoming 3 which is again less than the threshold value so output is going to be 0 and for the final inputs let's uh, clear it first okay so now the for the final inputs the input is 1 and 1 so 1 into 1 1 plus 1 into 2 is 3 means the summation value is 3 and plus 2 the bias value so it is going to become a 5 so summation value is 3 plus 2 bias value it is going to be 5 which is again greater than or equal to our threshold value so output become 1 uh, and this is how the perceptron with the biased value is going to work means just we introduce a bias to add it in our previously sum, uh, summation value that's it nothing more nothing less it's not like a rocket rocket science you just understand that we introduce the bias value to delay the triggering point of that perceptron so how it is going to help in our uh, further models we are going to see in the further videos uh, and i'm planning to make the bias and get perceptron video in python also uh, and in next our perceptron series there are uh, means uh, xor gate videos or xnor gate videos and after that uh, we are trying to build some complicated circuit uh, with the help of the universal gates so i'm planning this for our uh, perceptron playlist so that's it for the today's video uh, if you enjoy the video you can press the like button and if you dislike it then you can also dislike if you have any suggestion for me then you can uh, put it into the comment box um, so that's it for the today's video thank you for watching this video